Hello again, this is Ogutu from Ogutu.org. We are going to continue from our second video in this series of uh, Spago BI and Talent. So, uh, from the data that we have just extracted in the second video from T24, we will create a, a report like this. Uh, it's a fictitious data from a model bank of uh, T24 of a fictitious bank that doesn't exist. So, we'll just use it as an example of uh, what we can create uh, from T24. So now that you had exported the job from talent, we had saved it to desktop. So it was a zipped file. This is it. So if I open that file that we had just exported from talent, uh, you see uh, it will have that folder and then under it will be lovely and then I will also have the job name which was T24. Under it we have uh, a bunch of files. So that's not our interest. Our interest is to extract this file and once we've extracted this file, we need to save it under resources in Spago BI. So in Spago BI, when you go, let me just go up one level. Uh, in Spago BI server, there is a folder called resources. Under it, there is a folder called talent. Under it, there's a folder called runtime repository. Under it, there is a folder called Java. Remember talent can, uh, can, can produce Java code or PAL. So we are going to use Java. Under Java, we have this one comes with talent. So this is the one. If you click on here, Spago T24, remember that was our project name. Under it, we have our job name T24. So if you look keenly, you'll just realize that this folder is just the extracted uh, version of uh, the job that we had just created. So if you double click here, we had named our T24 training, but uh, it's, it's supposed to be named the name of your job, of your project, I mean T24 uh, talent. So inside there we have this. So we just extract this folder into that location and make sure that the, the outermost folder is the same as your project name. So if I come back here, I had extracted it here. So my project was called uh, Spago T24. So and inside it you have lib and uh, our job name T24. So that's what we had exported. Make sure you put it inside Java folder under runtime repository in the talent folder in your resources folder. So once you do that, next you need to create an XML file that will tell your Spago BI where uh, that folder have been created. So I'd already done that. Uh, you can create it anywhere, but I'd uh, this is the this is the uh, let's open it the text editor. You need to create this file, save it wherever you want. Okay, so that's a standard XML. So it starts with ETL. So the job context default. The project is called Spago T24. So if I come back one level, uh, come back to here, uh, go to here, then uh, resources talent so i just like naming them so that i cannot get lost so spago t24 is the project name and then job name is t24 so my job in uh, talent i have named the t24 so this is the version and then the language of course is java so if you come here you see that it's in, inside uh, the java folder it's inside the java folder the project is t24 the job is T24. So this is just the, what you had exported from uh, your talent tool. So once you create this file, remember this is the file that we are going to use uh, to schedule in uh, to schedule in our in our Spago BI, so that it can automatically be running the talent job from the time that we tell it to run. Okay. So we go to we now go to talent. We go to talent. Then we create a a, a document. This is a uh, I mean, go to Spago BI. This Spago BI 4.1, the, the latest one, it's very nice. So I already created a job called customer load. So if I look at the properties, give it any label you want, the any name you want, any description you want. Then under type, it's an ETL process. Okay, so we have several other here, but we need ETL process. The engine that we are going to use is talent engine. The data source. You create any data source, uh, your, your own data source, but mine is called T24. And this is the data source that connects. Let me just back up a little and go to data sources. So this 
So remember that's the data source that connects us to the to the MySQL uh, to the MySQL table. So this to the MySQL uh, database where we have the FBNK underscore customer table. So this is where we want to dump the data. Okay. Okay. So going back to customer load, you look at the properties again. So data source is T24. Uh, scope are put public. Then uh, preview file. Spago 4.1 has this nice feature preview file where you can put a, 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 an image, a nice image that uh, that will that will come as a preview for the file instead of the, using the default ones. But I'm not going to do that. So under template, just select uh, under template select that XML file that we have just created. So I have mine here. So mine is called job. Okay job.xml select the folder where you want it to go mine want to go to custom document and then you save okay so now we want to test whether if we click on that document if we click on this customer load it can load data to my the mysql table so I come here remember we had already uh, uh, loaded the table when we were testing talent directly from the talent Open Studio. So I'll just truncate the table. Okay, and let's go customer. Okay, so make sure nothing's there. So nothing's there. Then I'll come here to Spago and then I, I run this ETL uh, document. Okay, so I can see that uh, my machine is busy. So it's telling me ETL process started. Now, if I come, if I come to my table here, let me see if it's doing something. So it has loaded the, the data 373. So our 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 job is okay. Let's see if there's any error in our Tomcat. So we are alright. Everything is okay. So ETL job have finished. Now, if I go, if I go and look at the customer load, that, that's the what we have just uh, run. Let me look at the customer list. So this is the file I created, so it extracts data. So just to be sure, what I'll do, I'll truncate this table again. Truncate this table, so we have nothing. So select count, we have uh, nothing. Then I come here, I look at the customer list. Let me see if there is anything. So we have nothing, we have nothing, so again, Customer load. I run the file again. It is a job started. Let me see if it's doing something. So it has loaded the data. Then I look at the customer list report again. So we have something. So it's it's working uh, perfectly. Okay. So instead of uh, uh, doing it manually, our ETL job. If, instead of uh, running it manually, we, uh, Spago is very intelligent. It allows you to schedule this so you can use it with a combination of a cron job such that uh, when the cron job finishes extracting data from uh, talent then you schedule it uh, automatically to run also so that uh, when i come here i go to scheduler i can create a schedule i've already done the one called fbnk underscore customer okay so just click here so that we see how to create a schedule so to create a schedule you just uh, Put, give it a name and a description once you give it a name and a description then you schedule uh, you go to schedule list where now uh, I have the timings I have the timings so the start date you can give it the date you want it to start the time you want it to start and then whether you want it to go uh, to, to be scheduled uh, daily then down here what do you want it to do? Uh, I want it to send mail to uh, this recipient, and then this is the mail subject, and uh, anything else that you want to do the mail test. Okay. Then when I back out, I can either wait for this time to to to, to reach, or I can do uh, run now. So that's the best way to uh, to test whether your schedule is is working. So what I'll do again, I'll come here and truncate get this table then 
I'll click on run now. Okay. So it's doing something. I'll come here and uh, select so it has it has, it has populated uh, my, my data. So my schedule is working properly. Okay. So that's uh, that's it for now. I'm uh, out of time. So in our next video now, uh, we'll continue and now create uh, follow-up queues uh, reports from the, the 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 data that we have we have just extracted from T24. Thank you for your time. In case you have more information or any other question, contact us at uh, gutu.org. Thank you.